guys, so let's get started. But before we start, if you haven't seen my other video on friendship bracelets, you should pause this, go ahead and watch that, and then you can um, come back and play this to learn how to do the Chinese staircase. So the Chinese staircase is just the simplest friendship bracelet you can make. It's just a series of forward knots, which I'll show you how to do. And you can really make it whatever way you want, how, however many colors you want, and however, like, how long, depending on how long you want the pattern, like the color to last. So as you can see here, it's kind of shorter, but then here I go into longer, shorter, longer, and then I end with the longer. This one is very thin because I only use three colors, but this one is super thick because I have all of the colors in the rainbow. So depending on how thick you want it and how many colors you want to use, that's gonna, you're gonna cut out how many um, strings of thread you would like to use. You're only gonna need one string of each color that you're gonna use. So uh, what I would do is I would cut it, I have my case of, yarn here let's see so I'm going to do use this this pink and maybe a green so I'd, I'm gonna use these so I would cut them out a little shorter than your full arm extended because the Chinese staircase doesn't use that much thread but depending on how long you need it do longer but I would say you don't need any you don't need definitely any longer than your full arm extended. So just go ahead and so cut that. All out. my strings cut out to the same length, not very long, but you're just gonna match them up at the end and then tie a simple knot to tie them together. Make sure that you leave it long enough so you can tie it. I leave around that much. Okay, so now grab your tape. Um, you can use this postage tape, or I, I call this blue tape, I don't know what it's really called, maybe masking tape. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna rip off a piece of it, if I can find the end. Okay, and then you're gonna, there's the knot right there. And then you're just gonna tape it down and try to push off all of the bubbles, just like that. All right, so. Now we're gonna get started on how to actually make this really cool okay. bracelet. So I have it tied and taped to the table. So now I decided that I'm gonna do blue, pink, green. So since blue is first, I'm gonna grab the pink and green as if they were just one string, and I'm gonna grab the blue. So this knot, this is the only knot that um, the Chinese staircase uses. It's called the forward knot. So you're gonna make the number four, as you can see. So just like a four, right? And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick up this string and you're gonna stick this end in through and pull it through and tight and then up in. So I like to hold them all with one hand. So I go there. Here, let me move up so you can actually see that. So I go just like that and stick it up, pull in, tight down. So once again, you make a four just like that. And you're gonna stick this end through the hole. You can also just stick in the middle and then pull through, whatever you want. So we're gonna stick the end through and coming in up just like that, pulling all the way so it's tight. And then you come up pulling so it's the string is slightly up and not, you're not, you can't pull like that. You have to pull and you have to make sure it's tight. Cause in this example, as you can see right there, I didn't pull it tight enough so you can see the other strings down. So you wanna make sure that it's tight so you can't see the other strings. So I'm just gonna continue doing this and I'll come back once I'm done. As you can see, I did as much blue as I wanted to. So you can do the same color for as long as you want to. In another example, I did, I did, um, that's the wrong end, I did, like really short, maybe like two or three stitches, and then I went into longer ones. It's entirely up to you, and I kind of eyeball it to make sure that they're around the same length, but if you're really, if you really want it to be exactly the same, what I would do is I would count how many stitches you did and just repeat it 
and down until it's the length you want or you run out of strength. So now what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna do a time lapse of me doing the rest of this bracelet. I think I can knock one out, out one of these out in around five minutes. They're really quick and they're really easy and they're great for beginners to do their first bracelet on. I finished doing it. I ended up doing um, three blues, two greens, and two pinks. So I don't know how long those are each. Let's take a look. So I'm measuring the green one. So I don't know, three fourths of an inch. So I did one, two, three, four. So I did seven of those. And so now as you make it the length that you want to fit your wrist, what you're gonna do is you're gonna tie it off just a simple knot and make sure that you tie it off kind of at the edge of where the stitch ends. Make sure you pull it tight. And then as you can see, I have a pretty long tail of yarn that I didn't use. I mean, <laughs> thread that I didn't use. So you're just gonna cut off around. I just, I'm just gonna cut it off and then untape it. To do that, you just pull up the tape tape it and there it is so here are other examples so I hope you guys enjoyed this video on um, Chinese staircase bracelets this is really the easiest type of bracelet to make and it is great for beginners I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you next time thank you guys for watching this video I hope that it was helpful and that you can now make many of these bracelets please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel see you next time